Hello, this is Shannon. I am back to react to episode 37 of Red vs. Blue. So close to the end of season 2, I wonder what's going to happen! Let's find out! Doo-doo. 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 Bow! Wow! Dealer incentive. Okay. So, they send a female assassin to try and kill us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You want to date one of us? Female? I'm not a girl. Jeez. I just have light red armor. How is that big armor anyway? Looks comfortable. At first, I really hated it, but it's kind of grown on me. My old armor used to chafe my thigh, something awful. But the crotch in this pink one is surprisingly roomy. Silence, woman. <laughs> no, how could this have happened? Eh, it's okay, sir. It was a strong plan. Griff's just a dumbass. Hey, I'm using your cerebral cortex. Settle down, ladies. We need a new stratagem, and we need it fast. Don't be sure to crack under the pressure and reveal everything. Everything like what? Where we keep his tampon? You're right about that. <laughs> the boy doesn't even see the entertainment value in being tortured. Oh, these kids today. How's it going, Tucker? Did we get any useful information out of the prisoner yet? I figured he was here to steal back Lopez, but he won't give us anything. Except a list of crockpot recipes. Would that be useful? Do we have a crockpot? No. Caboose made a trade with that annoying guy from Blue Command. He swapped it for a mystery box. What was it? <laughs> 140 jars of mayonnaise. Well, that's a good trade. Yeah, Devils is a great sunscreen. How did you... Never mind. Listen, I think I came up with a plan for how we can use Lopez and our new prisoner hmm. to get an upper hand on the Reds. Awkward! The plan is not mayonnaise. Damn it, I knew there would be a catch. <laughs> Oh my god. Truth. Okay. Tell me all of the red secret plan. Oh, you tricked me. You blue guys are so smart. Okay, now listen closely. Our biggest secret is... Caboose, it's me, Church. I possess this guy so we can... Woo, hey, this pink armor is kind of comfortable. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You're an idiot. Oh, nothing. Well, not just tell him. You want to braid each other's hair? <laughs> what the hell? Hello, Inferior Red Squad! We would like to talk to you about- Can get the heck? Shut up, you idiot. We're not here to fight. We're here to negotiate. Yay! Yeah, it's a neat negotiation! What the- No, no! What is this? I think he's talking to you. We, uh, I mean they, would like to negotiate a surrender to us. No, to them. No, wait, no, that's right. To them. To us. Oh, smooth, dude. What's this business? The Blues are giving up? I smell a trap. Or a rat. Or a rat in a trap. Don't accept it, Simmons. You can't surrender, Blues. We haven't attacked you. Now go home and wait for us to attack. Then you can surrender. Wait, if we accept, that means we would have two surrenders and they would have none. That means we win. Win what? I, I don't know. The war or something. <laughs> I an idiot. Yeah. Thanks for not killing us. They, them, we, they would like to release the robot guy and me. You're really bad at this. The pink guy. Are you becoming retarded? <laughs> What's torn between my intense distrust of the blue team and the need for the plan stored in my favorite robotic creation? Oh. No offense, Simon. None taken, sir. You removed the negative emotional center of my brain and implanted it in Griff. <laughs> I can't. I just can't take this. We're all going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're going for it. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, now you're under attack. Go ahead and surrender, bitch! I was thinking, Simon. The humanity! Alright! They surrender! Fuck that! I'm pissed! Let's fight! Now, <laughs> we're really by our superior military strategy, we demand the return of our robot and our pink private! Okay, but there's one catch! What, Shinola? Sarge, they want you to build two robots for their team. One for each prisoner that they're releasing. Hey, that wasn't part of the deal! Why exactly are we negotiating with Donuts? Church, why do we have two <laughs> robots? You know? One for me, and one for them. Oh, man, don't tell me you're doing this for Tex. Uh, yeah. You're in love with her, aren't you? Get off my back, man. Most dead chicks aren't exactly lining up to haunt this dirt hole. Besides, if I don't get her a body, she's going to steal mine anyway. So and true. Point, bitch. All right, you blue scum suckers. What robot models did you have in mind? I guess make them just like Lopez. Except, you know, just a shell, no intelligence. These two robots sound much nicer. That's because they sound like you. <laughs> I didn't make a switch. Okay, we'll Deal. Okay, I gotta hurry back before Lopez and Sheila suspect anything. Make sure this pink guy doesn't run away when I leave. I mean it. I'll meet you guys back at the base. <laughs> ah,
Uh, I, I, Sheila? Lopez? What the, why do people keep leaving? I really don't know. Uh, why? Team, before you go, maybe we should talk about optional equipment on your new robots. What optional equipment? All you said you wanted was the body. We didn't talk about features. Like what? You know, undercoating, extended warranty, features, man. What? Oh, like, do you want them to be able to use both arms at once? Of course. Asynchronous arm movement is optional. What? Oh, man, I told Church they would try to screw us. <laughs> Okay, first things first about the video, if anybody know, I'm, I am Sarge's manager, and if anybody wants a loo job, they have to pay 50 pounds, okay? That's the first thing. <laughs> okay, enough of that, but yeah, another great episode. Uh, where the hell has Sheila and Lopez took off? Well, I can't wait for the finale, because so many things are happening at once. I mean, uh, everybody's disappearing. It's so odd. Oh, I can't, I'm just, I'm not going to do much commentary for the end here, because I'm going to probably just be going straight into season, into the next episode anyway. So, once again, thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.